the Lord will rescue you too Jewel. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. Psalm 91,3 My friend, today's promise is taken from Psalm 91,3 Surely the Lord will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. Our God is the God who saves you from the worst disaster. He will protect you from all evil. When on one side the wicked people are plotting a snare to destroy your life and on the other side due to curse, the deadly pestilence is surrounding you, the Lord as promised in Psalm 91,3, will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. So be of good cheer. In the Bible, we see a similar incident happening in the time of David. In 2 Samuel 24,15 we read God sent a plague on Israel and 70,000 people had to die. Why did this happen? It happened because of the curse that David had brought upon the land due to his sin. Yes, David was the king. But he was not sure of his own people's loyalty. He was doubtful whether the people in his kingdom from all tribes would love him and fight for him. But the people actually loved their king David. They trusted him with all their hearts and looked up to him for judgment. In spite of these people's trust and love, King David's heart was caught up in sin and chose to love someone more than the others. In order to test the loyalty of the people in the land, David commands his commander to take a census of the people who would be willing to fight for the king. But when the census was over, David was moved to see how many men were willing to fight for him. His heart was grief-stricken and was convicted. He felt guilty for not trusting and loving his own people as they had loved him. It was at this moment of his realization that God's judgment comes upon the land in the form of pestilence. Because of this, several of his people had to die. David wept bitterly for them realizing his grave error of failing to love his people. He immediately sought God's forgiveness and offered sacrifices to him. The Lord stopped the curse and blessed the land by establishing his temple that was built by the hands of his son, David. What a wonderful God we serve! He rescued the land from destruction. According to Isaiah 1:15, you may spread out your hands and pray much but God may not listen. The Lord says in I John 3,15, your hands are filled with the blood of hating your brothers. This will bring a curse, the sudden pestilence. When COVID came it was not only a disease that was killing people but it bound the hearts of the people with confusion and fear. What is the solution for such curses? Galatians 3.13 says Jesus became a curse for us on the cross. Like David, let us repent to God for not loving our brothers and sisters in the world enough and taking the time to pray for them. Let us turn to Jesus. He will remove every curse. And again, in Matthew 24, 7 and 14 we read in the last days, even though these pestilences will come when you choose to preach the love of Jesus Christ to our brothers and sisters, love them and pray for them in the name of Jesus, the Lord God will save you from this pestilence. You will become an instrument in bringing the blessing of Jesus to the world. May God give you this grace. God bless you. Like this video if you believe.